Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey, and here let's check out the top new games made with Unity for November 2021. I thought this month wouldn't have many good releases because of Black Friday and the Autumn Sale, but I was definitely wrong. There's tons of really awesome games for you to play, which is great, but also tons of competition for you as a developer, so you really need to bring your A-game. If you want to be a successful indie game developer, you need to keep up to date with what's coming out. I make these videos once a month so I can learn which games are finding success. All of these games are uniquely impressive, so the list is in no particular order, except for the number one game that is my personal pick of the month. Also there's affiliate links in the description for some of the games. Are you looking for Unity Jobs? Check out this video's Patreon sponsor, Just Unity Jobs on Twitter. It lists hundreds of jobs needing Unity skills every week, jobs are either on-site or remote. Subscribe today for some job inspiration to land your first job in the industry or to find your next great Unity role. Alright, so starting off at number 10 with a pretty big release made with Unity, here is Ruin King, a League of Legends story. Like the name implies, this one is based on the League of Legends universe. It's a turn-based combat RPG that seems to be very heavy on the story. You unite a party of League of Legends champions and set sail to uncover this mystery. The reviews are very positive, so if you like League and you like turn-based RPGs, then this seems like an excellent one. For me, I stopped playing League about 5 years ago, so I really don't recognize any of these characters in the trailer, but if I did, then I imagine that this game would be great fun to play. And up next, for something that just came out of Early Access and definitely appeals to me, here is Factory Town. You build, automate and optimize a giant town using conveyor belts, trains, chutes and pipes. It's all in full 3D, so it features some really awesome vertical destruction to really make your designs come to life. You gather raw materials, turn them into something more valuable, sell them to nearby villages, and then use that profit to expand, gather more materials and keep growing. Features a completely open sandbox mode and also some guided campaign maps with some unique goals. It even has workshop support so you can download tons of items that the community already made. Personally, I love automation games but most of them are constantly in early access, so seeing this one come out in the full release really makes me want to play it, just need to find the time. If you're looking for something really chill and zen, here is Unpacking. The concept is really very simple, you just moved into a new place and all of your things are on boxes, so it's up to you to take the objects from the boxes and place them in the right place. It's part puzzle game and part home decoration. It describes itself as a meditative game, there's no timers, no scores, no fail state. You explore the environment, arrange bookshelves and listen to the soundtrack made by a BAFTA award winning composer. There's also somewhat of a story in the game delivered in an interesting way. Through the objects you unpack, essentially you'll learn more about this character that you never really meet. So it's definitely a very unique game, it's short and sweet, so if that's what you're looking for then give it a shot. Up next here's an interesting one that I've been watching for quite a long time, Lens Island. I've been watching this one for over a year because they have an excellent YouTube channel. You can watch the development of this game all the way since the beginning 3 years ago when all it was was just a capsule and some basic cubes. If you're interested in seeing a game take shape, definitely go watch all of those videos. The game itself is an exploration, farming, crafting, building, survival game. The building system is excellent and actually one of the inspirations for the building system that I made myself in a previous video. It's really in-depth, you can really build the home of your dreams. Then you can obviously gather resources, cut down trees, go for fishing and even farm for food. And of course, if you're feeling adventurous, grab a sword and go down into the caves. It's out now in early access and already has quite a nice amount of very positive reviews. By the way, if you find the video helpful, please hit the like button, it's a tiny thing but it really does help, thanks. Then for some really cool VR, here is Crisis Brigade 2, it's a great name. This one is a fast paced virtual reality shooter. You play as a SWAT trooper, either solo or with friends, choose your loadout and take out the bad guys. Visually it's very impressive, a very good looking VR game, very realistic visuals which is pretty unique, a lot of VR games are very sci-fi so it's nice to see something purely realistic with some excellent visuals. It's fast paced but also one of the features they mention on the store page is zero sickness so I'd love to test that out. Next up something pretty unique, Moncage. It's a puzzle adventure game where each side of the cube works as a window to a unique world. You select the objects in one scene, then rotate the cube to interact with both worlds at once. Visually the effect is excellent, makes me want to try making this system. You could do it with a bunch of cameras and some render textures and some clever coordinated movement. You collect all of the photos from all the worlds in order to uncover the story. It also has one of the features that I love in puzzle games, there's a hint system to help you when you get stuck. Personally, I really suck at puzzle games so I always love this mechanic. 
It has almost 2000 overwhelmingly positive reviews, so everyone seems to love it. Then here's another one that came out after a successful time in early access, Gunfire Reborn. It's a level-based adventure game combining FPS, roguelike and RPG. Every level is random, each run is unique. You meet different heroes, experience new weapons, items and combat rhythms. Lots of varied environments with tons of unique characters. Also, you can play either alone or in co-op with four friends. I must say that just by looking on the trailer, I think it looks a bit generic, but it does have over 50,000 very positive reviews, so this must play great. If you're a fan of side-scrollers, here's The Legend of Tian Ding. It's very flashy, great comic book style action. It's a story about a legendary Taiwanese folk hero, so in terms of setting that's very unique. You've got lots of ninja moves, dash, roll, punch and kick your enemies. Features a pretty complex kung fu fighting system. You can do all kinds of attacks, grapple enemies with your sash, or throw them in the air and hit them with an air combo. There's even a card based minigame to take the break from all the action. It certainly looks very unique, so if you're looking for a different side scroller then check it out. And up next here's the Last Stand Aftermath. Pretty awesome looking top down shooter. I believe this one is actually based on a flash game from a long time ago, it's published by Armor Games. For me, since I started in flash games, I'll always have a soft spot for seeing that name. Back then it was my dream to get sponsored by Armor Games. This one has a really interesting concept. It's a zombie apocalypse and you've already been bit, so your time is running out, which makes it perfect for a roguelike. Features the usual survival mechanics, you can scavenge for food and resources, craft weapons and explore this world. But since you're already bit, you have a time limit, and when you finally die, you pick up the game again as a new survivor with new perks and upgrades based on your last run. Visually, the game looks really excellent. Great shooting, great ragdolls, the grass looks great, and the lighting effects at night make it look really gorgeous. I haven't played a survival game in quite a while, so I'd love to give this one a try. And finally, at number one for my personal pick of the month, if you're looking for something really wholesome, here is To the Rescue. It's a very charming dog shelter simulator. Personally, I love dogs, so this one really hits me just the right way. I've actually had the idea of making a game just like this, but never got around to it, so I'm really happy that someone else did. It's a management game, so you take dogs in, you keep them fed and well taken care of, and hopefully find a home for them. You can run a fundraiser and expand your shelter so you can help even more dogs. Each dog is unique with their own needs and desires, and it even has a petting minigame. And on top of all that, 20% of the dev profits from this game go towards a pet charity. So just by buying the game, you can have some fun and you also help a really worthwhile cause. Alright, so that's 10 awesome new games made with Unity launched in November 2021. There's links in the description for some of the games. Those are affiliate links, so if you use them, it's the same price to you and you'll also be supporting the channel. Check out the full playlist to see some more awesome games made with Unity. Do you have any other hidden gems you found this month? Let me know in the comments. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.